Good morning, it's Sadio Fazal. Hey, market analysts at CFDs.com bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Thursday, 23rd of November 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You could download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's start. In terms of uh, Asian markets overnight, certainly a, a brutal session. Okay, uh, risk off certainly coming into the European session with Chinese markets certainly uh, uh, hammered. The uh, Shanghai down 2.3%, the Hang Seng down almost a, a percentage point on the back of obviously talk of uh, a curbing lending. So again, certainly uh, having that impact. So again, Asian markets open up negative, have start, uh, started to move higher on the back of news with regards to Schultz potentially resigning. And there's been some sort of agreement there with regards to Germany, certainly triggering a short squeeze. Also helped uh, to a large extent by the uh, strong economic data as well, Europe, Ger uh, French, German manufacturing. Um, PMI is basically coming in stronger than expected. Uh, we have got European PMI as well, certainly coming in stronger than expected. UK GDP numbers uh, this morning at 1.5%, although uh, total business investment dropped to 0.2%. Uh, and uh, certainly index services coming in more or less in line. Uh, we do have the uh, ECB monetary meeting account, so again, watch out for the potential move in the euro. And then we've got Mr. Courier speaking as well. We've got uh, well Kiwi export imports if you are trading the Kiwi. And that really is it. Obviously, U.S. Thanksgiving Day today certainly closed. Uh, U.S. markets are closed half day tomorrow, so light volume certainly will be on the light side. Okay, now let's uh, see how the markets are performing. Again, uh, Chinese markets flushed overnight, so again, that's a risk-off scenario, so bear that in mind. Let's start off with the German DAX. German, German DAX certainly bouncing that key support zone at 12,900. Moving over to the 60-minute chart now. As you can see here, finding support at that 12,930 zone on the German DAX. Now, again, with news breaking just now, uh, well, certainly this morning it certainly seems to be brewing, and obviously stronger PMI data. Uh, European market certainly shrugging of that weaker news. So bear that in mind. We've closed the gap already at 13.020. Uh, again, let's see how far we go. We've got 200 MA at 13.080, and then we've got uh, obviously the uh, support uh, resistance at 13.102. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, in terms of French CAC, let's move over to the French CAC now. French CAC certainly short squeezing very impressively there on the back of stronger PMI numbers. Back into that key resistance zone. Uh, the daily chart at the moment obviously uh, triggering a bearish bullish engulfing candle even with the asian markets flushed overnight so bear that in mind we're back at that key resistance now for european equities at 385386 especially for the uh, the french cac so watch out for that zone there certainly coming into resistance at this juncture okay so again asian markets down will certainly be risk negative okay go especially given the fact that u.s markets certainly are closed looking for u.s markets certainly to gap and move lower as well in terms of the FTSE 100, FTSE 100 certainly has been a roller coaster as you can see yesterday's pivot high 7460 flushing all the way down to 7370 before rebound, rebounding now. It certainly seems to have closed the gap now at 7420 on the FTSE 100. So let's see how the market performs here. Uh, again, you've got uh, Centrica shares diving almost 20% today. Certainly risk negative, okay, for the FTSE itself. Certainly dragging the FTSE 100 lower as well. Obviously, with China shares flushing as well overnight, certainly risk negative too. So certainly looking for a risk aversion to kick in and remain uh, in the market. Okay, so again, looking for risk off here, folks, in terms of uh, the FTSE 100. The budget yesterday certainly triggered a short squeeze initially until they realized that it wasn't exactly very uh, stimulatory and therefore the FTSE 100 certainly sold off. Okay. Uh, in terms of euro stocks let's look at euro stocks let's see where we stand there uh, euro stock certainly has bounced very impressively with 3550 okay back into resistance now at 3580 i actually went short around this zone here where previous support equals resistance okay uh, using your fibonacci retracement ratio as well taking the pivot low you're back into that fib 61 50 percent so certainly a good shorting opportunity for me certainly taking that short with stop loss obviously above that previous high so again, looking for risk aversion to kick in and remain here, especially with Chinese equities down overnight. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of European equities. Again, watch out for the DAX. Certainly a short squeeze has, squeeze has been triggered on the back of that news and obviously stronger PMIs, but will that last with Chinese equities hammered overnight? Okay, so bear that in mind, especially with US equities into resistance as well. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit TradeSignal, download the latest app. Goodbye now.